Good afternoon and happy Wellbeing Wednesday. I hope you had a wonderful holiday week and it's really exciting to reconnect with you. I wanted to share with you this week how much it resonated for myself and my family that was visiting um, during this very quiet holiday week. This, the theme of mindset and owning our own destiny and our own vision. And I loved how our family was coming together to discuss casting your vision on attached to outcome and how that ties to your health and well-being and the reduction of stress. And also just living a purposeful life, knowing who you are, knowing what you believe in, seeing it, feeling it, experiencing it, and putting it out there in a kind and loving way, unattached to what shows up, what manifests. Because there are so many different opportunities that can cross when we're sitting in the present moment, we're letting go of things that we're not control, in control of and we're simply receiving. So I thought it was really cool that over the holiday, that was something that really resonated with my family and I. And I wanted to bring that to your attention as we are sitting in the middle of a, a deeper portion of this pandemic with a lot of internalization going on, a lot of exhaustion a lot of reflection, a lot of uncertainty. We all thought we'd be done with this by now and here we are through a surge, which is, is exhausting for all of us. So I wanna help us prepare for 2021, not by writing off this horrible year because there's so many lessons that we can take away from this year. And how are we preparing to cast that vision for 2021 as an individual, as a family, as a community, unattached to outcome, but, but with excitement and joy and, and versatility. So there was a lot of different information that came across to me today that I was like, oh, I can show this, I can show this, I can show this. But it was Guru Singh who won the toss um, and I've taken an excerpt from his email expressing, and we've talked about this before, where your energy goes is where your attention is. So whatever you're choosing to use as your lens, whatever you're choosing for your mindset, where that attention focuses, that's where your energy goes. And we've learned by being in the present moment and letting go, being aware that for every human on this planet, they each, we each have a different lens, right? So we're all right. We're all looking for the same thing and that's joy and love and happiness and safety and, and, and compassion and kindness. We just all look at it from a different lens. So how are we letting go and casting our own vision and having this mindset shift of, I'm not deterred by anyone else's experience or their, or their judgment or interference of mine. I am going to be very comfortable with who I am, what I see. I'm gonna enjoy casting that vision unattached to outcome. And that's the mindset shift that I'd love for all of us to embrace for 2021 embracing what a crazy year this has been. So Guru has shared, and I look forward to sharing with you, history repeats until the lessons are learned. And these lessons are always keys to further evolution. Human history is often distorted and falsely rewritten by a desire to control a story from the past, to justify a particular version of the narrative in the present, then guarantee a future outcome. Humanity is living in an alternate illusion as truth is what we convince someone of. This illusion is where every disease and disaster breeds, multiplies, and operates from. One of the tasks of higher awareness is to accurately register what's being experienced in each moment then represent this moment without controlling or distorting the story, authentically experiencing each experience. Our wish is that you observe the lessons of history and walk the middle path of a balanced response. From this present moment, you create a future filled with the compassionate wisdom of these lessons be the extravagant wisdom keeper. So that was from Guru. That was the one that won today's communication. Again, just theming out how, know who you are, sit in that present moment, cast your vision, unattached to outcome, and lessons learned, 
We're not here to always be happy, happy, joy, joy. Life is definitely filling us with challenges that we get to show up and experience who we want to be under those circumstances. So I hope that this reflection on my holiday visit with my family um, and in preparation over the next 30 days of helping to create a dialogue about casting a vision for 2021, not hating 2020, right? Embracing 2020 for its very unique year. <laughs> and then how are we taking those lessons? How are we seeing the truths in those lessons? How are we painting a picture and casting that vision? So with that, I wish you a very happy Wellbeing Wednesday. I thank you for connecting and I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye.